Diverticulosis is a condition herniations of mucosa and submucosa through areas of weakness in the muscular layer in the large bowel wall. To say more simple, multiple pouches in the colon. Diverticulosis commonly has no symptoms. Some people with diverticulosis complain of cramping, bloating, flatulence, and irregular defecation. But these symptoms may be caused by irritable bowel syndrome. Diverticulosis affects more than 50% of people over age 60. And more than 70% for age 80. It means age is important risk factor developing diverticulosis. Other risk factors include, constipation, low fiber diet, connective tissue disorders such as Marfan syndrome and Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, genetic predisposition, heavy meat consumption, and extreme weight loss. Diverticulosis typically occur in the sigmoid colon. The left side of the colon is more commonly affected in the United States while the right side is more commonly affected in Asia. Exact mechanism is not known but, there is a theory according to its diverticular form in weakened areas of the colon wall that are subjected to an increased pressure. The strength of the colon wall is decreased with age. Maybe some role has constipation, impacted fecal which blocks blood flow in the colon wall. Pain with diverticulosis is caused by perforation from the diverticulum. If diverticulosis is complicated by infection and inflammation it is called diverticulitis. Diverticulitis is the most common complication. Caused by stool that is impacted, fecal if, in the diverticulum sac. Produces ulceration and ischemia, compression of the vasa recta. Fever, only with diverticulitis. Diarrhea initially followed by constipation. Palpation of a tender mass in some cases. Microscopic bleeding common, gross bleeding uncommon. Bleeding is another complication, usually caused by erosion of a juxtaposed vessel by a fecal if, hardened. Impacted stool, like a stone. Bleeding stops spontaneously in 60% of cases. Scarring of the juxtaposed vessel and recurrent attacks of diverticulitis prevents bleeding. Diverticulitis is diagnosed with a CT scan, best test, or with a double contrast. Barium enema. For diagnosis is also iced, X-ray, colonoscopy will show the diverticulum and rule out malignancy. There is no specific blood tests. Treatment of complication requires skilled medical care. To cope infection and bleeding. Complications are more common in patients who are taking NSAIDs or aspirin. As diverticulosis occurs in an older population such complications are serious events. No specific treatment for diverticulosis but, a high-fiber diet and fiber supplements are advisable to prevent constipation. The American Dietetic Association recommends 20 to 35 grams each day. Wheat bran has been shown to reduce intracolonic pressure. Intake seeds, sunflower, popcorn and etc. is not considered as risk factors.